Hi again. In this video, I will talk about how to save your work and how to export it in the right file format uh, for either printing or for screen display. So let's look at the master document. This is my landscape painting. If I zoom up to the file name, you can see uh, I've named it landscape painting. I've put in the word master, so that reminds me that this is the original master document with all the layers. It's A5 in size, and that's me. And this memory is not the file size, this is working memory, this is RAM memory. So the actual file size is about 35 megs. So don't be confused by that number. All right, so when you're ready to um, save this or export it as a, a file for either screen display to share with social media or for printing, um, just check to make sure your layers are right. Uh, make sure your reference photos are off the, uh, the page, off the uh, canvas, so they're not sort of overlapping. And then you go to File. Now, I don't know why. You can choose Save As or you can choose Export. They do the same thing. I can't see any difference. But uh, if you choose Export, for instance, you get to rename the file and you get to also choose the right um, file format. So um, let's look at saving this for um, Officeworks or Harvey Norman to get printed. So in that case, you would choose JPEG. And let's give it a proper name. So I'm not going to call it mast anymore because this is going to be a JPEG file. And that means that the layers will be flat. I will include my name. And I might just put um, right at the end of my name, I'll just put my little code HR, which stands for high res. I use that code when the file has been saved uh, at 300 dots per inch, uh, high quality. All right. So here we go. Click on save. And then this window comes up. Now, what you have to do here is uh, leave everything as it is. Go to the advanced quality and see what it says subsampling. Just make sure it's on best quality. Uh, under basic, make sure that's at 100% as well. So that will mean that your JPEG will be saved at the highest possible quality. And then you click OK. Now, of course, nothing changes here because all you've done is export this as a second file. So let's now look at uh, exporting this, not for Officeworks, but for a professional printer, somewhere where you really want to make sure that the quality is uh, better than Officeworks. All right, so in this case, you go back to File, back to Export, but this time, um, we'll just change the name again from Master to um, High Quality, high, uh, high R, HR, and, and this time, instead of JPEG, I'm going to choose TIFF. All right, so this is a landscape painting, uh, saved as a TIFF, and TIFF is really great for high-end printing, so printing that's better than Officeworks or Harvey Norman. All right, so now we can save, and that's our second file. Now this window comes up, just leave everything as it is and click OK. So leave it on None, no compression. And again, nothing changes in our view. You know, we haven't actually modified the painting at all. We're just saving it as uh, separate files. Now, this version, this is when you want to save your artwork for social media, for the internet. And this is our, our low quality um, version. So before you do anything, go to uh, Image. And what you want to do is scale image to a new size. Because what we want to do here is we want to change it from 300 pixels per inch to 72. Now you'll notice as soon as I type in 72, the dimensions of the canvas change. Now I could, I could change this, I can go back up here and type in, oh, I make it 800 pixels wide. Um, when I save images for the internet, uh, my minimum width is 800 or whichever is larger, the width or the height, I make it 800. Sometimes I make it 1200, sometimes I make it 2200. It just depends on what the image is used for. Uh, 800 is a, is a good size for the internet, and uh, 72 is the resolution for screen. So once we've changed the scale to a new size, you click OK. Now, obviously, things do change now with the master document, but that's only just because we want to save it um, for screen resolution. And now we go to File. We go to Export. Now, we choose JPEG again, but this time... Our new name is going to be JPEG uh, Low Res. So at the end of the file name, I'm just going to put LR for Low Res. And that's going to tell me that this is not the same as the High Res one. And then when you click on Save, you do two things here. 
Um, well, actually, you do one. You go to Advanced Quality, and then from here, you choose the smallest file size. Okay, so that's going to be in the file size right down. So Advanced Quality, Smallest File, click OK. Now, once you've done all that, close your document. But don't save it because remember we changed the resolution. So this is very important. Do not click on yes, click on no. No saving changes. Now, when I go back to the desktop, this is what we have. We've got the master file is here, the critter master file. And, and that weighs in at 39 megs or close to 30, uh, 40 megs. Uh, that's the one with all the layers. Then we have the low res. Um, which is the screen version, the uh, internet version, which is only 204 kilobytes. Then we have the high res TIFF, which is perfect for high-end printing. That's 17 megabytes, and that doesn't surprise me. And then we have the high res JPEG, which is perfect for office works, and that's 2.3 megs. Um, you know, basically, they're all the same image on screen. No difference when you preview them, but uh, the file size is very important. Note as well that the top three, these ones that we saved and exported, are all with flattened layers. All the layers have been flattened, whereas this one, all the layers still exist. So hopefully that gives you a little window into uh, exporting files for printing and for screen display. So yeah, good luck with that.